update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, uh, well, cloudy and cool Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. It's the Dow that's trading off 54 points. New York Stock Exchange is off seven. The uh, the um, other U.S. indices are trading the upside. S&P's up 19. NASDAQ's up 191, one percent out there. The Russell's basically flat. The semis are not flat. 3% move to the upside, 122 points. Gold's up 9 bucks. Silver's up 7 cents. Lights recruit up a buck. Uh, natural gas is down 12 cents. 30-year treasury printing out 120.08. That's off 17 ticks out there. Let's go take a look at what all this means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the upper left-hand side. We've got the ES Mini. What is it doing? Well, it's just um, trading below the bottom of, again, the profile levels that we have established here on the black background chart. That is resistance. Resistance being 47.99. If we take a look at the spot volatilities, it's still above the 50-day exponential moving average. That means these markets are not out of the woods. And what we're seeing here is an over sold rally at least that's the message at the moment if in fact the spot volatilities were to close below 1373 today that would signal that buyers are the ones that have the edge if we take a look at the nq the nq is trained above the top of its profile in fact a close yesterday was a bearish engulfing candle and that actually confirmed a roads momentum indicator top but a close above yesterday's high 1703375 will negate that signal in the case of the u.s dollar index likely targeting 104.66 you got a bit of a bounce here in gold but it's Still below profile. It's got an A to B equal CD pattern. To the downside, 1986 is his first price projection level. Silver still holding its TD9 count bottom. If, in fact, we get a close below 2263, we've got another leg lower inside of silver. Light speed crude just trading in between us, descending and its uh, rising price channel as well with inside its profiles out there. But it's really that little wedgie. And at some point in time, price is going to break out of that. And then we'll have a measured move that's equal to that wedge. If we take a look at natural gas, odds favor that it's going to pull back towards the 261 to 269 level. That's its bullish structured buy zone out there. Close below 2.611 is going to send us all the way back to the most recent lows. And the 30-year treasury, it's completed or it's confirmed an A to B equals CD to the downside. Its initial price projection, 118.27-ish type level out there. That, folks, is your market update for Thursday. Yeah, it's already Thursday, January 18th. Have a terrific uh, day. Stay tuned for the Trader Said Show. But if you have to start your day, have a wonderful one. We look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care, now.